Daniel chapter 4, and as you already seen, we're, we're taking Daniel slow. Daniel is an important book in the Bible. And many Christians want to go run to Revelation, which is a great book. But Daniel and the book of Revelation run hand in hand, and without the other, there is no understanding. Now, I remind you, we are in the Old Testament. There are no Christians. As we look at some of the events in Daniel, <clears throat> and you say, well, you know, what about me as a Christian? Nebuchadnezzar the king, Babylonian king, unto all people, nations, and languages. We saw that in the beginning. And we ran to Genesis with, with you know, the Tower of Babel. Only thing, there wasn't no languages until afterwards. This is a world leader. And all the people of his realm. His realm has gone all the way to Egypt. And there are scholars out there. And there are people who think they know. Oh, nobody knew nothing back then. And we saw that previously. But Nebuchadnezzar could not have known it was the angel, the Lord, the Son of God. So go correct the Bible. Nebuchadnezzar has just conquered the temple in Jerusalem. You mean he, with all the, the Jewish people he's taken captive, with all the things of the tab I mean, of the temple he's taken captive, with all the stuff he's taken, he hasn't read, he hasn't heard, you know, of Jehovah. You mean the word of God has not been broadcast? People are not talking about that God in Jerusalem. No, I know the scholars don't talk about God. But don't lump me with you because I talk about God. So this is a world leader. We'll see this again coming up a couple more chapters. That dwell in all the earth, the well-known earth. And include Americans. Americas. Because we know that the Vikings came to America. Peace be multiplied unto you. It's not like a pope. Peace, peace, peace. I thought it good to show you the signs and wonders of the high look God has wrought toward me. And in 1 Corinthians 1, I think it's 10, 10, 11. Signs are for Jews. Wisdom is for Gentiles. Not to say that God will not show signs and wonders. Was not Noah's Ark a great sign and wonder? It never rained. And Moses got up in that ark, got on the, his soapbox, wherever he got up. It's going to rain. Get in this ark. Oh, you fool, you idiot. Shut up. And then the rain came as a miracle, as a sign, as a wonder, which we talked about the other day. Westcott doesn't believe this. How great are his sons. And he's shown a lot to Nebuchadnezzar and will show more. I believe this Nebuchadnezzar gets right. I believe we're going to see Nebuchadnezzar in the eternal life. How mighty is wonders. Now signs and wonders are, are two different things. Signs are for Jews. But I think it was in last year when we had, we went all the way through the alphabet names of hurricanes and had an extra plus hurricane. I read today that there, there's a, there's a volcano right now smoking and another one getting ready to go. That's a wonder. Fires in California is a wonder. This, I Sunday morning I got up, I, I, I turned on the computer, and I saw a weather map. Three quarters of the United States was in purple cold, including Florida. That's a wonder. Is COVID-19 a one? Signs. Well, Lord, I'm going to put this fleece out. <laughs> okay, Lord, I'm going to put this fleece out again. 
the healing ministries of Jesus, all this by your modern Bible Westcart doesn't believe. They don't believe in the war. They say it's El Nemo. They say it's global warming. They say it's Mother Nature. They say, you know, it's some kind of government plan. It may be the Russians or maybe President Biden's doing it. But we have a wonderful God who controlled the nature and control what he created. Nebuchadnezzar is recognizing it that the scholars and the world won't. These, these poor, imbecilic, dumb idiots way back when, he has more sense to believe in the president than any of them are living today. Because he's given God the Father, the God of the Hebrew, he's given him the credit. I didn't see one president give credit. His kingdom is an everlasting king. Oh, look at that. <laughs> His kingdom is the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ. And, you know, this heaven and earth will pass away, but not the kingdom of God, and not the kingdom of Jesus Christ. And his dominion is from generation to generation. Well, Babylon's gone. Before we close the book of Daniel, Babylon will be gone. Sodom and Gomorrah are gone. The Medes and the Persians and the Greeks are gone. Germany is about gone. England is not that powerful nation that she was. America will fall. But God and his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, upon their throne, will be seated in New Jerusalem forever. <clears throat> I, Nebuchadnezzar, so either he's right in this, or he's dictating it. But it's coming out of a king's mouth. Not coming out of a president's mouth. Where there's word of a king, there is power. What do you do with an ASV? What do you do with an NIV? What do you do with the new king? What do you do with those Bibles? When they're not written by a king, James, variation of Jacob, Israel. What do you do? Your Bible is not written by the power of a king. Mine is. Was at rest in my house. And flourishing in my palace. So, th this is the Babylon. This is the hanging garden. This is the splendor nation. And I saw in my dream. Which made me afraid. Dreams are multiple in Daniel. God does not speak primarily. I'm not saying God can't do it. But it's not the chief cause of the scriptures today. According to Mark 16, which is eliminated out of the modern Bibles. Because if we go to Mark 16, if you ain't got Mark 16 in your Bible already, you can throw it in the garbage can. Mark 16. Look at verse 16, verse 20. And they went forth preaching everywhere. I don't find the church is doing that. The Lord working with them. Confirming the word. With signs following. Amen. There is no completed word like we had today. Mark, Matthew, Jesus, Paul did not have 66 books of the Bible. Paul could not have a complete Bible because they were laid out on his desk or his table. And some of them weren't even written yet. John was the latest, late comer of the Gospels. Nebuchadnezzar had no New Testament. So what did God do before the completion of the 66 books, not the Apocrypha, or the other mess books they tried to put in the Bible? Those were the signs. So when they went out preaching primarily to the Jews in Europe, 
Prove to me that God's speaking to me. Prove to me that, that you are an ambassador of God. All right, I'll do the same thing that God did with Moses. Well, what's that? I'm going to show you signs and wonders. Then when, when we got the 66 books in our lap, and you can go through our Bible study, and we follow the line of the King James Bible. But today, the King James Bible, 66 books today. We're not talking about yesterday. We're talking about today. We go to the scriptures for our answer. We don't go by a dream book. We don't necessarily go by signs. Though I'm not going to limit God. There may be something that is in your life. that God, I don't know if it's a yes. I don't know if it's a no. I don't know what. I, I need you to do something. And I've looked in the scriptures. I've read the scriptures. If you want, if it will, you're going to have to show me. And I'm not saying he does it. But what I'm saying to you is we go back to Daniel. We're not to go to the grocery store. And as we're waiting for our groceries to be checked out, to pick up one of them stupid little books. It's funny how we're in the book of Daniel. And now when I go on the internet and there's all these things, you know, what do your dreams mean? Because the computer's watching what I type and what I do. And the world's like, well, get this book, get this thing, get this website. We'll tell you what. And you can get messed up. Because every counterfeit of God and Jesus Christ in the Bible is Satan. He's got a counterfeit Bible, NIV, PEQ, and all other garbage. And he'll get you to trust a book. I said, we, we got a big place over here, and there's a tent or a booth, whatever you want to call it, and there's a psychic. And I was younger, could be able to walk, and on. I, I poked my head and said, do you know I'm coming? There's always got somebody in there when I do that. And I laugh. But how many Christians, profession, born-again Christians, go and sit at that woman's table, and whatever she does, and however she does, show me what the future is. There are some. And Christians do it. Christians will look up to what their horoscope. Why do they call it a horoscope? That's not what we do. We run to the Bible and we run to prayer. You don't want to be a, a person in jail. And you open up the, the newspaper, which most of the horoscopes are with the comic page and the crossword puzzle. Interesting. Sometimes the TV section. Get the little kitties indoctrinated. But you're in prison and, and you get that horoscope. You open it up and says, today you're going to find a new love. Ah, no. No, 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 no. I don't want that. How do you erase that? We don't go running to the world. And Daniel's a man of God. You don't go run to your pastor. Your pastor had a dream about... He ain't going to be able to tell you the answer. Your deacons are not going to be able to tell you the answer. Your Sunday school teachers are not going to be able to tell you the answer. Your wife is not going to be able to tell you the answer. No one is going to be able to. And if they give you an answer, they are lying to you. Don't tell me. I was, I've been told by three of my family members that there is psychic phenomenon in the Hayward family. And sometimes, you know, that's been spooked. And I don't get involved in that mess. So Nebuchadnezzar has a, I mean, she was a psychic, but I mean, from what I was told, she was huge. She couldn't control her appetite, but she can tell you what tomorrow is not going to bring. I have to say that. So he has his dream, and it brings fear. Some dreams do. And some are just a dream, and, you get up, go to the bathroom, get yourself a drink of water, and you go back to sleep. You say, well, about Nostradamus, and what about, uh, the, 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 I can't think of it. Partially correct. Now, when you can get the word of God that says a man's going to be born on this time, he's going to be born in this city, 
He's going to be born of a mother that is a virgin. She's going to have no marriage bed relations with her husband. He's going to be born of this tribe of 12. He's going to be of this family, this, 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 uh, a Jewish. He's going to be a male. Today you blow it because they don't even know if they're male or female. This is what city he's going to be born in, and, and they're going to reject him. And he's going to grow up, and he's going to die a death that's not going to break any of his bones. Well, let's see the Let's let's see that. Happen. Let's see this dream as a sign and a wonder of your famous dream and and and, and your dream catchers and your and don't get involved with those things either. That's Native American junk. That's wizardry. That's demonology. I said demon. I didn't say devil. He said, well, Stalin, you say, because demonology, there's a good dream catcher and there's a bad dream catcher. That's the difference between demons and devils. You can have a good demon. You've seen the good, you've seen the demons when you watch cartoon. There's a little red demon on the right shoulder, left shoulder. You got the little white demon on the left or right shoulder. There's a good one, there's a bad one. That's demons. And as a Christian, we have what Nebuchadnezzar in the Old Testament doesn't have, is we have faith is the substance of things hoped for. <laughs> well, what's going on here? And the evidence of things not seen. I've never had any of my dreams come to play, and I don't think I've had any of my dreams ever foretell, as far as I can tell, the future. But we're not in the Old Testament. We're not under the Jews' signs and wonders. And yet Satan has played this dream out. And I have a dream, and I'm going to set everybody free illegally. As much as these truckers in Canada are doing things illegally, and the Christians say, oh, support him, support him. He'd be rebellion in, in yeah, okay. That's what kind of Christianity today we have. You see, when I read years ago, and I read my Bible every year, woe to them that call evil good and good evil. I would never have expected that would be the Christian. But this dream, it scared them. And it troubled him. Therefore made I a decree. And it's a special fear and tremble of God to speak to Nebuchadnezzar. What would Daniel 4 speak to us today? You better watch out for pride. And if you got pride, which I know some that do, God ain't going to show you a dream, and God ain't going to re reveal to you in that dream to break you down your pride. He's going to break you in your pride. You're going to hear preaching. You're going to have people praying for you, and you're going to get down on your knees. You're going to ask God to forgive you. Don't wait for the dream. Don't wait for a, sh a sign or a show. That's not going to happen. Therefore, I make a decree, a law, to bring in all the wise men of Babylon before me. Oh, man. Didn't he try this before? And they couldn't do nothing for him. That they might make known the interpretation of the dream. Then came the magicians, the astrologers, and Chaldeans, like chapter 2, and the soothsayers. You know, there are Christians that go to magicians. They go watch magicians. We went to that great illusionist. While we were in Las Vegas. Illusionist. You know what illusionist means? You're wasting your money. Give me the money. Don't go. I'll be happy. And you'll be. Astrologers. Ooh. I'm a Virgo. I'm a. <laughs> What's my horoscope for today? Chaldeans. They were educated. Let's go see what the scholars have to say. The soothsayer. Ooh, read the bumps of my head. Idiot. 
And I told the dream before. All right, look at this time. He tells him the dream. Chapter 2, he didn't tell him. Now, we don't know if he really forgot or he's like, I'm putting you on the spot. But right now, he's like, you know what? This dream troubled me so much, I'm going to tell you what I dreamed. I'm going to give you help. But they did not make known unto me the interpretation thereof. You know that picture's a Christian? I'm going to run to the bank. I'm going to run to uncle. I'm going to run to mom. I'm going to run here. I'm going to run there. I got troubles. I got problems. I'm going to go to the psychiatrist. I'm going to go to my doctor. I'm going to get the red pill. I'm going to get the blue pill. I'm going to go. I'm, I'm going to get the legalized marijuana. I'm going to get all this stuff. And then when that doesn't work, and then finally I come to God. In my, in my mind, in my life, and everything's tragic and broken. And, and I come to God busted. And God's like, when did you come to me in the first place? You know, by time some people, including myself, by time we get to God, we got a heavy backpack that we ought not have ever had. And what pictures here is, stop running to the world. Now, Daniel is a picture of the Holy Spirit in this book. Joseph is a type of Jesus Christ. Joseph was the second ruler. And Pharaoh said, bow down the knee. Only in word will, will, he, will I be higher than him. And he's got the second chariot. Daniel has the spirit of the holy God, the Holy Spirit. He's the third president. He's the third. He's the third member of the Trinity. And when we got these issues... We're to go to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit prays for us when we don't know how to pray. We're to go to Jesus Christ who prays for us because we don't often pray enough. And it's okay to run to the pastor, but if you run to him all the time, he don't have all the answers. And if he thinks he does, he tells you he, he does. he's a liar. You tell him I said that. Sometimes it takes what American Christians don't have today is get off, shut the door, get off alone for quite a while and speak to God, you and him, without the media, without the government, without the telephone, just you and God alone. Now, I'm not saying, you may not get the, the answer at that moment. It may come later on. Even Nebuchadnezzar's dream. He didn't get it right away. And he sure didn't get it from the world. Come on, really think about astrology, the, the, your horoscope. You know how many people read that newspaper and it's supposed to single you out? That's like that's like the Christian. Oh Lord God, I pray Saturdays of fellowship outside. Please, Lord God, don't let it rain so we can have our fellowship and have a good time. And meanwhile, on the other uh, the other coin, the farmer, Lord, it hasn't rained in such a long time. My crops are drying out. My family needs money, and if you don't send some rain, <laughs> it's going to be wasted. <laughs> And who are you going to run to? You're going to run to the, the meteorologist? You're going to run to the... They're always wrong. They can't be right. The only way for a meteorologist or weatherman to be right is the chances of rain with sunniness, partially cloudy, maybe partly cloudy, the possibility of snow. It's going to wind blow one direction or another direction with some sleet and, and maybe frost. And you got to throw it all in there to be right. The meteorologist is God telling us they're not always right. But I am. Oh, can I get the weather forecast? No, you're not going to get the weather forecast in the Bible. But yet Jesus said, and I forget how it is, but when the red from the sky is red and lowering, 
I forget how that goes. And at night, the, at the sky shows, he can, he can tell. And, they, and there's also places, the Bible says, that if the wind comes from a certain direction. So there is some ways to tell the weather in the, in the Bible. But the weather man ain't going to give God the credit. Joseph and Daniel are going to give God the credit. And if you get on your hands and knees, you get in prayer with God, you get sick. Lord, there's this event in my life I don't know. I need an answer. And once the answer comes, and you go to church and the pastor says, anybody got anything to say? And you can put your hand on it and say, right now I pray to God, I have this thing in my life, and there's no other answer I got. But I got it from God in prayer and His Word. And God enjoys that. So, but at last, Daniel, he didn't learn from chapter 2. You know, another thing we learn as Christians, we make mistakes. I make mistakes. I don't know how many times I have burnt my hands on the toaster oven. But I go back and I burn it again. And we keep making mistakes over and over. And this is what happened. Why didn't he just call Daniel in the first time? Why don't we just go to God the first time? You're right. When you're thinking about God, you love the God with all your heart, with all your might, with all your soul, you're not going to sin. It's when you take your mind off God, then you're going to sin. When you break that first commandment, God first, then you're going to break all nine of them. I did a study one time where well, you broke one commandment, you broke two, and you broke three, and you broke four, and you broke five. And it was amazing. I did that, I did that study in prison one night, and they were like, whoa. And then you're going to come up to me and tell me, well, you're good. No, you're good for nothing. Then at last, Daniel came in before me. Oh, wait a minute. He said, I made a decree to bring all the wise men of Babylon before me. And the magicians, astrologers, Chaldeans, and soothsayers show up. They couldn't do nothing. Then Daniel showed up last. How and why? Was he called last? Was he on an errand? Could not Nebuchadnezzar say, you know what, you guys? I'll wait for Daniel. Daniel's busy. I don't care, I'll wait. But see, we want that answer right away. We'll go run to the world. God, I need money right away. And, and, and the loan people and that, 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 that paycheck loan, whatever that thing is, or the bank loan, or, or I can get this loan online. They're so much quicker than God. And all the interest that they'll put on you later. But at last, Daniel came in before me, whose name is Belteshazzar, according to the name of my God. Well, we talked about the, he hasn't converted completely, but he's come a long way. I told you when we left off Belteshazzar, when we left off Nebuchadnezzar, we left him as an agnostic towards God of the Hebrews. In whom is the spirit of the holy God? That's the Holy Spirit. Now, yes, gods. Well, that's what Nebuchadnezzar believes in. And if you deal with the Roman Catholic, he might, you know, you got, you know, Mary gave you, no, no, Mary didn't give, but that's what he believes. That's what they've been taught. That's what they were lived in. That's what Nebuchadnezzar was grown up as a little boy. But there's a spirit of God who works in the holy gods above the gods is God, the Holy Spirit. The Bible acknowledges there are gods. Satan used that against Eve. You shall be know and have great knowledge as the gods. 
And before him I told the dream, saying, O Belshazzar, master of the magician. So Daniel's elevation is he's above these guys. But he was the last one to be brought in. Because I know that the Spirit, the Holy God, Holy God, twice. You realize the Babylonian gods, there were some that were not holy. You know how booby God? You know who booby God is. That's your Baptist God. That's your Babylonian Baptist Catholic Istar you call Easter. Not Jesus Christ rose from the grave. Her husband and her son, Tammuz, rose from the grave. You got, the, you got it all wrong backwards. Nebuchadnezzar is going to come to God. The Baptist come away from God. And before him I told the dream saying, O Belshazzar, the master of the magician, because I know the spirit of the Holy Ghost three times. Can you, do you know three stories? At least one appears in the Gospels three times. At least one. It's important. The Holy Spirit's working on, on Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah, would you name him? I name him Belshazzar after the name of my God. Really? And... and where is he guys wisdom, knowledge, and understand? He gets it from the Holy Gods. What's he get from? He gets the spirit of the Holy Gods. You want to try again, Nebuchadnezzar? I'm working on your heart. The spirit of the Holy Gods. What is that? I had a job I worked for, and people would be cussing all around you and all that. But when you come walk in, oh, excuse me for a I didn't say nothing. It's the Holy Spirit working on you. You're saying stuff wrong. You're taking my name in vain. Knock it off. Now watch this. That the Spirit of the Holy God's in thee. In thee. The Holy Spirit is in Daniel. Scholars would say it came and went. Oh, no, no, no. Scholars. Use your diploma to wipe your butt when you go to the potty. Just don't put it in the toilet because it'll clog up everything. Because you don't know half of what you don't know. And be interested to look at, at, at Samson. I wonder if he came in or around. No secret trouble is there. Do you know that there are story of Roman and Greek mythology gods? There's a what's that mean? I don't understand that. New Age. They turn to angel angels. I talked to one guy one time, door knocking. We had a great talk. He was telling me about his angels and, and, and the new new age. I learned a lot. You know, there are things, the angels, the holy angels, and the unholy angels, there are things they don't know about. Here is when we get to heaven, we sing about the redemption of Jesus. The angels are going to have to sit back and let them sing. Because we've never been redeemed. Well, they're singing about the blood of Jesus right now. Listen to them sing. Because the blood of Jesus doesn't do nothing for the angels. Isn't it? I think it's in Hebrews. It doesn't say that the angels desired. A, what is that? You realize the angels were mesmerized when they watched Jesus die on the cross. Like, what on earth? And, and can you imagine a couple of angels walking up to God and saying, "God, sir, yeah, why man? Because I made him. I created." But. You told those lions not to eat Daniel, and they obeyed you. Yeah. You told that ass to speak, and that ass spoke. Yeah. You told that dove to take the olive leaf and put it in her mouth. Yeah. You tell man to do something, and he don't do it. 
Don't you think that some of the unsaved angels, oh, look at that man down there. He don't, you don't believe me? What was Job chapter 1 and Job chapter, yeah, does Job fear you for not? Come on, God, let's lay it. You put your cards on the table, and I'll put my cards on the table. So we're not looking at the realm of angels. We're not looking at the realm of small G-O-D-S. Because the Greek, and, and I studied the Greek and Roman mythology. They're, they didn't know. Can you imagine Medusa, the first time she looked, somebody looked at her? Look at that. Yeah, stone, rock, hard stone. That'd be my hairdo. And there's only one being that secrets can't hide from. The eyes of the Lord in every place behold the good and the evil. That's God. Or the evil and the good, excuse me. Now you see here, we try to realm it with the Christian. I've been troubled many times my Christian walk. I'm troubled with some things right now. Daniel's going to be troubled in a couple chapters. But God is never troubled. God is never sitting on his throne. Oh, man. I had no idea that was going to happen. Well, Gabriel, write this one down. That just totally... Which shows no secret trouble with thee. We have a God that knows tomorrow from yesterday. He's already seen next year. He already knows, if possible, who the next president is. He knows whether Russia's going to attack Ukraine or there's just going to be a rumors of wars. Tell me the visions. Now look, it says plural. So there's been more than one dream of my dreams that I have seen and the interpretation thereof. And we're going to get into it, but we're going to stop there. But he's going to tell the dream outright. I don't know. We don't know in Daniel chapter 2 if he knew what the dream was. I'm testing you. This time he's like, all right, here's the dream. But we, we need to stop running to the world. And uh, th listen, there's nothing wrong going to our pastor, okay? But we've got to learn, did we go to God first? And after we bend to God in prayer, say, Pastor, listen, I prayed about this, I prayed about this, I read in my Bible, and I'm just not, or I'm not sure about the answer I'm getting. I mean, the Bible says, seek counsel. But what counsel is above all in that counsel to be God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit? Where they will get the credit. I mean, fame has been mentioned about Nostradamus and, and those other fame. Well, that fame does them no good. I don't know, but I mean, if they're in hell today, that does you no good. Imagine being in hell and for all eternity know that you were wrong. That's... Mm, we got to go to God first. But we got a heathen. We got a heathen king here. We don't have a Christian king. We are Christians. Paul says, pray without ceasing. You know what Christians do? They cease from prayer. And ought not to be done. <laughs>